The race to the moon began with a series of triumphs by the Soviet Union. First came Sputnik, the first satellite in orbit. Then the little dog Laika, the first Earth creature in space. And then Yuri Gagarin, the first man in space. The Soviets were winning, and the U.S. was embarrassed. The fact that the Soviet Union was doing these things in space uh, for the first time, and then the United States uh, did not have comparable uh, mission schedule, uh, created a widespread feeling among the media and among the public that, that the United States somehow was falling behind overall. This year's space budget. A month after Gagarin's flight, President John F. Kennedy committed the U.S. to put a man on the moon by the end of the 1960s. The following year, in Houston, he gave a speech that galvanized the country around a common purpose. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Kennedy would not live to see the fulfillment of his pledge. But on July 20th, 1969, an American set foot on the moon at last. That's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The U.S. had won the space race. It was, it, at its essence, a geopolitical contest for world opinion. Astronauts have not been back since 1972. But now, with its new heavy-lift Artemis rocket, the U.S. plans to send men and women to the moon again by 2026. Artemis's test launches have been scrubbed twice due to malfunctions. In the meantime, another geopolitical contest for space has begun with China. Beijing has plans for a lunar landing by 2030. But the stakes now may actually be higher. I mean, the thing with Apollo is that there was a finish line being first to land on the moon. The competition between the United States and China for space leadership uh, really has no end point. Uh, it's not a race. It is a uh, open-ended competition in civilian and in scientific and in military space. Space is only one aspect of a broad rivalry on many fronts, one likely to last longer than the one that ended with those first footsteps on the moon. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera.